So ultimately, really, um, for somebody that is is new to polo, it would be really important to get hold of you and to figure out how to get fit for polo, really, because it's so important. I mean, you can run forever and really not get fit, polo fit. I mean, I, I think of my son, who is a gym fanatic, and uh, he came down to Plettenberg Bay with me, and he played polo oh, 10 years ago, I guess, before. And uh, we were short of a player, and we said, Dustin, get on. And uh, he, for a chucker, and at the end of four chuckers, great, well done, thanks very much. The next morning, he woke up and he said, Pop, it's not that I can't get out of bed. He said, it's that I can't move. <laughs> he couldn't move. I mean, he has this fitness freak that was stuck in bed with every muscle hurting, you know? Yes. yes. So, um, for all these people starting and uh, just beginning polo, it would be great for you to just give us a, a, a sort of overview of where you'd start and how you'd go about that. And then, you know, obviously people booking lessons with you, but where would you start with that? Um, so basically what the kind of Chaka Wellness mantra is here, you can see supple, stable, strong, is you would start off by um, mobilizing and stretching. Um, because, you know, especially if you're, job for instance involves uh, being sat down a lot everything's quite tight and even if you are working with horses you're not warming up you're still going to have some tightness somewhere so I always think before you even think about going into the fun stuff make sure you're mobilized you're fully warmed up you're injury free or as, in, as, as well as you can be and then from there you start um, waking up the muscles so you do a lot of engagement work so these can be just with I've got some visual aids here um, some bands uh, hmm. or like a band you know all of this stuff can help just open up the joints wake up the muscles um, and again this is a good way to work out which where the imbalances are so if your left side is weaker than the right side if your left um, glute isn't turning on as well as the right glute so they're really good um, aids to use to help um, highlight any imbalances then you work on those imbalances as well uh, and okay. then you do lots of stability functional work so this is the main bit functional work so yes like like um you said your son is mega fit and i change my personal training program depending on when i'm going to start playing polo so usually i would go to argentina from october through to december come home for christmas for a couple of weeks then go back out jan feb march um and so i start doing that pre-season training two three months beforehand i will just change a few things in my training programs from doing you know more uh, heavy weight stuff to functional weight uh, sorry to function well, higher reps and, and less weight is that what you're saying yes yeah and then functional um in, involves simulating the movement patterns of polo so you'll see i'm always on my on my instagram on the the bosu which is like a balancing uh ball and then you start simulating the swings um you can then have people throw things to you so you've got to work on your balance um, obviously polo you're very one-sided the whole time but you're engaging your inner thigh so it's all about compound movements um, and just simulating those movement patterns of polo so you can be mega fit and strong but if your body isn't used to doing the near side and the offside shots then of course you're going to wake up the next day and be like oh my goodness and um, mm -hmm. yeah it's and I've done it before because um, when I went in October, I was really prepared. And then the two weeks over Christmas, I did nothing apart from eat and drink because it's Christmas. So then I went back out in January and my body took a good week and a half to get back into playing polo, even though I've been doing it for 10 weeks prior to that. And I'd done you know, my pre-season training, but just having those two weeks off doing nothing um, made a, a big difference. So it's all about the functional work and um, the... Uh, what did I say now? The functional work and the compound movements as well. So would your, would your um, through Chaka Wellness, would your whole training program obviously focus towards polo? Is it Does it vary vastly from what I would do if I went to the gym just to get fit? Is it a big, is it a big change? Huge change, huge change. Um, so, uh, so you would change, again, you would change your sessions depending on where you are in the season as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, the thing is you want to work the whole body. So you do those compound exercises, but basically a compound is where you're using different muscle groups at the same time. I, isolation ones are where you're just working one muscle group, i.e. the sit-ups um, to work your tummy muscles. 
So they're two different ones. So because polo, you are, you know, you're squeezing with your inner thighs, you're reaching, you're engaging your core, your back muscles are on, you know, you're, you're working the shoulder. That's, you know, you're working so many different things at the same time. And you wouldn't necessarily be doing that in a normal gym workout. So that's where the functional exercises are really important to get you polo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so interesting. And how many days a week would you be having to do this? Is it an everyday thing um, to be effective? I'm talking optimal, okay, for all of us that are out there. Is it like our normal gym session every day, or is it not? Is it not good to do it every day? Is it good to have a day between? Kind yeah, so um, we're just about to launch our virtual eight-week preseason program on my membership hub, and within that, we have um, a rest day. So because it's preseason. You can afford to work a little bit harder because you haven't. You're not really working too much with the horses, you know, as much as you were if you were playing chuckers and tournaments uh, during the during the main season. So yeah, it's a, you don't have to go hell for leather for hours every day. You can do, you know, sometimes a 20 minute workout, and then the next day you do a 30 minute workout, and then you've, you're working the core and cardio one day. Then the next day you're doing legs, so you're not working um, every just part of the not body. Every day. Every day. Exactly. So you mix it up uh, depending on what your goals are, your injuries are, um, your imbalances are. You would, you know, you don't have to go hell for leather. So in this pre preseason training program, our, we've got a maximum thirty minute workouts. Um, so because again, you know, when you're dealing with horses, time runs away with you. You know, so you can't. So not everyone has an hour and a half free every day to do a workout, and I don't do that. I'll do maximum forty five minutes. Um, because you can still have a very effective workout within that time.